Hey everybody, this is Computer Power Guide here with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a metallic chrome finish text effect. It's very easy, very nice, uh, very simple to do, and it has a very nice um, look. So go ahead and create a new document. Go ahead and create a new document, and then uh, name it Chrome or something. Name it anything. All right, width. Uh, I'm just going to set it at 420 pixels. Height should be 120 pixels. Resolution, keep it at 72 pixels slash inch. Color mode, RGB color. Background contents is going to be background color. And click OK. We have a little white canvas right here. We're going to make the canvas black so that our text effect can stand out more in a black background. So go ahead and select your black in the color picker. And then go to your paint bucket tool. Click once in your canvas. And boom, it's going to turn black. All right. Next, what you're going to do, go over here to your text tool and go ahead and choose a decent sized text box and type in anything you want. I'm just going to type in Chrome. Alright, I'm just going to be using the Arial font, Arial black. And then over here where it says text size, you're going to make it 72 pixels. It's pretty big, pretty nice. And um, keep the rest as it is. Now when you insert the text, it's going to come in its own layer, so you're going to right click the layer in your layers panel right here, right click it, and go all the way up to blending options. Now on the layer style window, you're going to go over here to drop shadow, add a drop shadow effect, and then a bevel emboss effect, and a stroke effect. So um, those are three effects that you have to have for this chrome effect. And go ahead to the drop shadow, these are the properties. Um, blend mode should be kept at multiply, and the color is black. Opacity should be 75%, angle 120 deg degrees, use global light should be checked. Distance is 5 pixels, spread is 0%, size is 5 pixels. Quality, the contour, should be the diagonal one where this side is shaded and this side is white. The anti-alias anti should be checked. Noise should be kept at 0, and layer knocks out drop shadow should be checked. You're going to go to bevel and emboss, and over here where it says structure, you're going to go to style, make sure it's inner bevel, if it's not inner bevel, make sure it's inner bevel. And then over here, technique is going to be smooth, depth is going to be kept at 100, direction is going to be up, size is going to be 5 pixels, soften is going to be at 0 pixels. Angle is going to be 120 degrees, use global light should be checked, and altitude should be 30 degrees. On the glass contour, you're going to click the little down arrow and you're going to choose the one where it's like one big mountain and then beside it is a little mountain right there so go ahead and choose that anti-alias should be checked and then highlight mode should be screen and the color should be white for the highlight uh, for the screen highlight mode you're going to make sure the opacity is 100 so that's one thing you need to change and then on the bottom where it says shadow mode multiply should be the shadow mode and then the color should be black and make sure it's 72 to give it a nicer effect so 72% um, should be the opacity for the shadow mode. All right, you're going to go down to stroke. And the only thing you should need to change in stroke is you need to make the size of the structure one pixel instead of three. The rest you can keep. Uh, position should be outside. Blend mode is going to be normal. Opacity is 100%. Fill type is going to be color, and the color should be black. So go ahead and click OK. And boom, you have a very nice, very effective chrome metal chrome finish on your text. This was another tutorial brought to you by Computer Power Guide and thanks for watching.